Hi, so sorry I've not been uploading recently. I've um, simply been sanding, sanding and more sanding. So there's only so much of that you can film. Um, I've put together a little bit of a medley of what I've been doing over the last three weeks. Um, there were a couple of weeks that I couldn't do anything as well. Um, this, um, this first bit is where I was actually adding the sides onto my boat cover. Um, so doing a bit of manual stitching, bit of a jack of all trades. Uh, then I go on to fix those three holes that I had in my hull. Um, I chipped the um, original um, fiberglass covers that was uh, say fiberglass covers, fiberglass patches that were bodged uh, and covered with paint so they're now done properly, sanded it all down uh, and now it's actually ready for painting so the next uh, video I upload will be the actual painting the hull or spraying it rather and uh, hopefully getting somewhere close to uh, finishing the boat. As you can see here, I'm sort of chipping out using a, a chisel. I'm only tapping it lightly, for, to be honest, and these patches may have held. Uh, they're obviously done with uh, polyester. They certainly weren't done with epoxy, otherwise I wouldn't be able to peel these off, as you can see here. Um, may, they may have held, but uh, i got to say, probably um, not wanting them to be um, give you the <laughs> difference between life or death when you're out on the ocean wave. Um, but this is the... Uh, I've scraped them all off. Um, I've had to then sand down the area uh, as a like a tapered, tapered area uh, from the hole outwards, and then I'll fill those in with varying size patches of fibres. Interesting. 
So here I'm uh, just drawing around the actual whole patch area and I'll go on to make some smaller patches from the fiberglass. So what I do is I draw the first one, the large one, mark where the actual hole is in the middle and I'll make a patch that size and then I'll sort of go up in size. Uh, I'll also uh, cut out some woven roving as well. So if let's say for example you make four patches, two of those will be um, fiberglass and woven roving of the same size. So it'll be one of fiberglass, then one of fiberglass and woven roving, then one of fiberglass, one of fiberglass and woven roving. Um, with the final layer being um, fiberglass to allow you to sand it off. If you've seen my previous videos, the line that I draw on my patches is just so I can line them all up. It doesn't always work, as you'll see when I'm putting them on, uh, but it's uh, a good idea, certainly if the, or especially rather if the patches are of a different shape. So I've got some West System epoxy and I mix up a little batch, do the first patch um, but then I'm going to, um, before I do that I'm just going to mix some um, filler with uh, silica, collodial silica and what that'll do is I'm going to put that on first just to edge out any of the imp imp imperfections like any holes etc so let's mix up the garden first. Five to five to one ratio. Check, check and double check.
Okay, so I'm going to dry sand this now, so I'm going to sort of prepare the uh, the surface for painting. But first, I'm going to take off the, the excess of those patches that I did. So I'm going to use a P80, uh, P80, which is um, just about enough, I think, to uh, to take off the excess. Then I'll do the the whole lot with the 180, 240, 180, where I sort of feel that there's a few uh, hard spots probably where I've actually been sat, um, filling in with the um, epoxy filler and then I'll do uh, a quick go over with the 240 to uh, prep the area for painting. Uh, it's been raining all day so um, I'm probably not going to be able to paint today so uh, just gives them a bit more prep. little break in proceedings I had a wasp nest uh, as I was standing in the boat I was getting attacked and um, I looked up and there's a massive wasp nest so what I did was rigged up my vortex vacuum put the hose right near it and turned it on sucked a few of them up um, I did actually spray them with a bit of CO2 as well actually which uh, calmed them down but I ended up filling half of the uh, the quarter sorry half of the blue tub full of bloody wasps um, the wasp man came in the following day to get rid of them
this uh, hole fix. All sanded within an inch of its life. Can't get any better than that, unfortunately. Ready to paint.